now we are going to discuss about how you want to find uh, all the particular uh, invoices for a particular vendor okay so the transaction code is fbl1n okay so if you go here and so i'm going to fbl1n and take some time system is slow okay so here suppose you have a particular vendor okay that i'm searching for and suppose this is the vendor number uh let me execute just we'll do some back thing. so here if you see all these are the vendors okay so suppose you want to see all the vendors that has uh, all the invoices that are related with this vendor number so if you go here and you click on this by default it's open items you can click on all items and you can click on execute and here you can see all the invoices so anything which is in red that means it's pending payment okay anything which will be in green that is paid okay it's already paid now here if you want to find some other or uh, different types of fields okay you can you can find these there are lots of other fields that are hidden here okay and you can so suppose i want to see the posting date i just bring the posting dates and all those things and you can save your layout and all those things you can do through fbl one end transaction code so this is the transaction code that is used to display uh, to check all the invoices associated with a particular vendor now let's find, try to find something which has some payment in it okay so we can just select cleared items okay and let's see these are, this is the vendor that has some cleared item also so i just copy this okay and i execute and if i go here all items and i will see some is pending some is already paid so if you see how you know if something is paid you will have a clearing document number associated with it okay so if you notice this is the clearing document number and if you want to double click on it you can see the invoice the actual invoice and you can click on the header this is the header is the hat okay that's very important and here you can see it was parked and then it was posted through FBVV, it shows the box, time of entry, time of parking, parked on, entry date, everything is there. That's the beauty of SAP, okay, because it captures every detail information you can think of and it gets stored. Now, if you want to see anything particular, suppose you want to see the clearing date also, you bring it here and you click on copy. Now, every time, next time, if you want to see this, you can create your own layout. And here, if you click save, it will say since you have created so any layout which comes with uh, starts with slash is a global layout, and anything which starts with Z or Y is a local one, user related. So now, if you see, if I double execute, the clearing date will show up. So that's so in this tutorial, we learn how to find all the invoices related to a particular vendor number or a particular company code so if you want we can take this portion out and we can search for all companies so it only has uh, uh, activities for this company code if you notice so that's it stay tuned to my channel and a happy sap learning